We take you for a look at Bird Stadium in College Park, Maryland, where you can expect anything except for the Terrapins to go into their shell. Maryland will come out fighting. They're in need of a home victory today. Time for ESPN's college football. In the booth tonight, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Time for Brad to take it away. Bird Stadium, which once hosted the Queen of England at a football game, is the site for today's exciting matchup. Now, this one should be exciting. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler with Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews. We've got more NCAA Football 13 for you. This presentation of college football is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And we've got a good one that features the Virginia Cavaliers and the Maryland Terrapins. together the bowl and championship pictures. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Bulldogs came into the game ranked fifth. After that performance, they'll drop like a stone. The unthinkable has happened. A major upset. In other action, time to take a peek at what's happening in Atlanta. Wow, you can feel the shock wave caused by that upset all the way to our game. From their own 30 yard line, second down. He'll hand it off, first down, Number and they make the stop at the 38. Maybe after a nice run like balls. that, you try to go up in the first air down. for the play-action pass. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Setting up the play action. He throws it. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Back to pass. Not to the receiver, and it's knocked away. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Third and ten. Ball on the 38. And this crowd is going crazy. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. Pickup of about seven that time on the screen play. Fourth down. The offense will take over at the 23-yard line. We've got a first and 10. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. 
The Badgers enter the day ranked fourth. That is now in the past tense. How far will they fall? And for Alabama, they now have nine wins, a very solid year. Caught open field. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. First and 10, ball on the 33. a great tackle at the 31. From their own 31 yard line, second down. Fires out quick, it's picked off. Inside the 30, the 10. Touchdown, Terps. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Right around the 48-yard line. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. From their own 48-yard line, first down. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. They're about four yards away here on second down. First quarter comes to an end, and this one might raise a few eyebrows around the country. 14-0, Maryland. to pass and he's tackled right around the 28 yard line a quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass it's first and 10 ball on the 28 On the right side, brought down at the 27. And he gets a yard on the run. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. He drops back. Gets it out quick and it's going the other way. 
And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Terrapins. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He looks to throw on first down. Passes and it's almost picked off. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Got a man, watch out here. He's taken down at about the 35. Number 26 on the tackle at the 35 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 35. That could be a check with me right there. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. You wonder if they'll go to the no huddle here. Not a lot of time left. That brings up second and five. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 38-yard line, first down. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. Gain of 22 yards. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. And he is drilled at the seven. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackle made at the four. And the tailback picks up the first down. You like how the that offense is playing down. intelligent, controlled football. Here, using the safe run to get the first. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll run it. Touchdown, Cavaliers. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. They'll throw on first down. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. He drops back. He's going to go for the home run. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Number 14 breaks it up. That'll bring up 36. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. And he 
hits him hard at the 50-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Quick out to his receiver. He's at the 30 to the 20. He's tackled at the 10. You know, I think the quarterback did a really good job here of sensing pressure before the ball was snapped. And I think it allowed him to change the protection at the line of scrimmage. And when he changed that protection, the offensive line knew the blitz was coming. That allowed them to be able to pick up the blitzers. And then the quarterback could sit back there and make the right read. But it all started with the recognition from the quarterback, recognizing blitz, making the right check at the line, and then being able to make a good throw downfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. They'll start at the 14. Going right, intercepted. Tackle at the 19-yard line. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major BCS implications. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Oklahoma, they're looking to win two in a row. Gets out to about the 21. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. Maryland's in front by 14. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Looking to throw. He airs it out. He's got it with room to run. To the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Gain of 68 yards. That brings up second and goal. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. in it. He found his fullback for the score. It's a nice job by the quarterback looking off his primary receivers and dumping it off to the fullback for the touchdown. They'll go to work at the 24. <laughs> Rifles it right side. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Game of 22 on the play. 
He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. They'll give it off here. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. From their own 48-yard line, second down. He may have changed things up here. Back to pass. He guns it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. Quick toss. Way to look it in. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. First and ten. From the 32-yard line, first down. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. And that sets them up with a first and goal. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. He poses a lot of problems for defenses with his size and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Here's a running play. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Parks gets six yards on the play. They're at the three. It's second down. Defense stacked in tight here. Off the fake. Enzo picked off. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. They'll set up shot at the 25. Fires out quick. It's picked off. And he's level at the 30. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's get you up to date on some games that could really wreak havoc on the BCS standing. Let's take a look at this one again. Here's a... A hotly contested battle. This drive will start at the 28-yard line. Well, we've got a new man calling signals now. Let's see if he can do any better than the starter. Looks to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. Drops back to pass. Throws it deep. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Virginia! That gives him 100 yards in the game. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. The offense will take over at the 41-yard line. Sims on the option left side, and he's tackled at about the 41. So he decides to hold on to it, and it... Goes nowhere. Second, and ten. second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Back to pass. 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's at midfield. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. Number 19 on the tackle at the 46-yard line. First down. He's looking to pass. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Number 47 on the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He drops back. And he tackles him hard at the 34. Smith comes away with around six yards, and that's also good for a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. Deep pass to the end zone. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Drops back to pass. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. Number 19 on the tackle at the 13-yard line. First down, 10 to go. That makes it first Ball on the 13. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. Back to pass. Rose middle. Here's the tight end. Touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. They bring him down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And for Sims, he appears to have been injured on the play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Just under two to go in the game. Completes it across the middle. And down he goes at the 41. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. All right, let's check in on some games with major BCS implications. And for Oklahoma, they've won two straight. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He sails it long. Down the sideline. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cavs. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Maryland 56, Virginia 42. And the Cavaliers 42. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Maryland comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. And for winning today's player of the game, EA Sports will make a $10,000 donation in his name to the school's general scholarship fund.
for the Terrapins, a 5-3 and three record is not where they expected to be at this point in the season, and they're going to need to win at least one of their remaining four games to have a shot at a bowl game. And for the Cavaliers, a crushing loss, and their shot at perfection ended today. That's going to bring this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews, Kirk Herbstreit, and Reese Davis, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 13.